All right, good morning, folks. Happy Saturday to you. Thanks for coming back. I've got an update for you on my oil pan, oil pressure issue that I'm working on the Envoy here. And I was able to get my oil pan off. However, I did manage to break a piece of the oil pan. I was a little frustrated, a little, a little pissed off about that. Be sure to take off all of the bolts. This bolt was right here at the top of the oil pan, at the front of the oil pan, in front of the oil filter. I got a little carried away with it and I started prying on it and didn't realize that that bolt was still in and this piece of aluminum snapped off. So be sure to take out all of your bolts. Don't do what I did. I've got everything removed. I've got both cross members underneath the car. You had one running here and then one perpendicular to the ground running here. I've taken both of those out. <clears throat> I have, apologize for the weird angle, but I have removed the two bolts at the rear of the oil pan. Let's see, I have disconnected the, uh, the one bolt from the steering column. It's underneath the boot. And all I have left now are, I've got one oil pan bolt at the rear. I have the three smaller oil pan bolts at the front. Um, I have the two bolts, uh, one here on the driver's side, and the second over here on the passenger side to remove the rack and pinion gear. And I'm not going to remove this completely. I'm simply going to remove the two bolts, which, according to my shop manual, are tightened to 81 foot-pounds, which I think is pretty random. But nonetheless, I've got them soaking in some penetrating oil to loosen them up. And then once I get those two bolts out, I'm just going to let the racket pinion hang down while I remove this last bolt on the oil pan and then the three bolts on the front of the oil pan. And then, and then I should be able to tap on the oil pan and get that bad boy removed and finally see what I've been waiting to see, which is the oil pump pickup tube. bet if I remove these transmission cooler lines that will help me out all right now let's see if she'll come off oh, oh son of a bitch That's no good. Now I gotta find out what the heck I broke. I don't know what this is, but I broke it when I was trying to use the hammer, I think, to pull this thing off. Oh no. It appears I'm going to have to figure out a way to get this rack all the way down. Okay. All right, that's probably it for tonight. <clears throat> Here is a look at the oil pan. And as you can see, it is pretty, pretty caked with crap. It's not too bad up here. I was kind of expecting a little bit more or anticipating a little bit more don't know what that is but anyway I'm not gonna be able to reuse this oil pan I've got a new one coming thank goodness for eBay I found a used one from a wrecked uh, 2004 GMC Envoy which is what I have so I've got an OEM coming and it was only $48 with free shipping so I'm not too bummed out about that but but 
what I was hoping to find and what I did find is what I want to show you right now. If you'll remember, I was having low oil pressure, getting a low oil pressure warning, and all of this work was to get to the oil pickup tube. And let me show you what I found. Now this, I'm going to take this off to clean it, but look at that. Let's see if I can get the light right. Look at that. Look at all that crap sucked up on that oil pickup tube. You know, while I think that is likely the root cause of what I'm dealing with, and that's what was giving me all of my low oil pressure issues, you know, this was a tedious process getting to this point, but I am very excited to find this problem. You know, I think for right now anyway, this confirms what I thought. So I'm going to get this pickup tube taken off and then we're going to jump up front and take off the timing chain cover and have a look in there as well. But for now, I'm pretty excited that I actually found this. All right, so I've got the oil pickup tube off and I'm going to clean out all this gunk in here to see what's what it is. I've got a magnet just to see if any of this stuff is metal shavings, but it doesn't appear to be. So let's let's get this cleaned out and see see what it is. It appears just to be gunk. But man, there is a lot of it. Well, let's see here. No, nope, it's not metal. So that is a good sign. And now that I've got the pickup tube off, I'm going to go ahead and take off the timing chain cover and see what's inside there. Again, this is the little 7 millimeter bolt that is right above where the harmonic balancer goes. There are two uh, holes that you can put in two of the bolts to actually jack the oil, uh, to jack the timing chain cover off to break the seal. The first one is over here on the left side and then the second one, I don't know if you can see that, is on the lower right just above the bottom right bolt hole. Okay, that's what it's all about. In this surface up here, a lot of a lot of cleaning to do, but there you go. I've got there's the oil pump behind there. I'm not going to take that off. I don't I don't have any reason to believe that that is acting up or um, you know not working as it should. So. That, that all looks good. I'm not going to mess with that, but I'm going to clean all this up here. So there it is. There is the chain tensioner uh, right here. And it looks like, I've got a new one, looks like that is backed out or pushed out quite a bit. We'll take a look at those. Um, tensioning shoes as well. I'm going to take those off, replace those, and those come off. There's one bolt here holding this one, and then on the right side, one bolt behind, actually I'm sorry, behind these plugs, 
and then on the right side there's a second bolt down here holding this one on. I'm gonna get those get those taken off. So that's what that's what she looks like. Not too shabby. A little dirty as expected. I'm going to uh, do my best to clean inside there as well. Uh, probably with a little brake clean. So that's that's that.